In the game of golf, we all want to hit driver as far as physically possible. That means creating the most amount of club head speed possible to result in the most amount of ball speed possible to result in longer drives. But what if you overswing? What if your golf swing is just too long? You lose connection, you lose any form of confidence and you hit drives like that. Um, that is generally what we can see quite often when people overswing. Did you see where that went? I, I mean, the strike location on there was quite worrying. But guys, welcome back to Get Good At Golf. On this channel, we aim to help you get good at golf one day at a time. This channel is proudly supported by our members over on Sunday Club. If you wanna join that, check out the link below. Sunday Club members do get extra bonus content every single Sunday. They get giveaways, we're gonna have meetups, all the good stuff. But guys, what if you are over swinging? What can you do to make sure you stop over swinging, make sure you hit the ball a little bit more out of the center of the club? And what drills can you do? In a few moments time, Chris, the drill master, He's got a new name that he wants, I think it's weird, but whatever, he's gonna give you a drill that can help you stop over swinging. Now, if you watch my main channel and you watch my golf, you will know I generally am the opposite. I don't over swing. I generally have a nice, I say nice, I generally have a shorter backswing, and for me, that works really well. Now, you can still create power from that. What you need to do, you need to have two key factors. You need a weight shift and you need rotation. Rotation is key to club head speed. So even though my driver swing may not be as long as Chris's, we actually have very similar club head speed and ball speed numbers. It's a lie. Because I can, <laughs> it's not a lie. Because I can rotate a little bit quicker than Chris, because as David Ledbetter said, I have the mass behind me to be able to do so. Now, if I tie that in with a good weight transfer, so if I can get set up to my ball, I start with a tiny bit more weight on my left side here, that gives me something to push off, load up to the right side, and then again push off, get back into that left side and try and rotate as quickly as I can. The problem with overswinging is generally your weight goes this way. So it goes towards the target, then from there you throw the weight back because it has to go somewhere. And that's where that strike comes in that I showed you right at the start of this video. That's not the optimum strike, Chris, is it? It is certainly not. Certainly not. So you can create quite a lot of power from short golf swings. Think of John Rahm, think of JB Holmes, think of all the people who are a bit more stocky. And what they do is get that rotational speed whilst creating that weight transfer and hit shots like that. Now, if I replay that golf swing, I mean, that has gone miles, Chris, hasn't it? It has, and down the middle. Down the middle of the fairway. Look at this strike here compared to the first one. That, for me, is under control. That's going to generate around a 160 ball speed for me, looking at that ball flight spinning around 2,000, and it's probably carried around 275 to 280 yards because I've got a little bit of consistency there that I know. Now, if you do overswing, the Drill Master is now going to show you a little drill that can help you do this. The Drill Master. Wow. Guys, earlier in this video, I mentioned about memberships over on Sunday Club. This video was requested on Sunday Club by Lex White. Lex, thank you so much for the support. I really hope this video does help you. The drill master is just preparing his props to help you stop overswinging. Chris, is overswinging something you see often? That's the hardest thing is actually getting that off. Oh, it fits like a glove <laughs> or a towel. Yeah, so overswinging, again, everybody wants to find more distance. Everybody wants to hit the ball longer. And obviously what they see on TV is that, right, I'm just going to do more turn. I've seen people have longer swings. That's going to work for me. But they suddenly come unstuck because, like James said, we lose a lot of balance. They get into this position here. And if you think it's very hard for me to create any kind of speed unless I throw it back and I then up excessively up on the ball club face wide open we've got no stability for direction from the face we did deposit a chrome soft in i didn't mean to hit it that bad but it's a goner well if you're playing woolly park in the next couple of weeks get over there there's a brand new chrome soft in there but that's often the case we get a little bit up on it we we top the ball we thin the ball i'm certainly known to occasionally hit the top with a driver I can put that video in i've still got it james has probably still got that video i thought that was a ball coming for us then but it's a bird but again, they get a little bit up on the ball too much and then they get no kind of flight, no kind of strike. So one drill you can do, I need a golf ball first. Okay, now we've got a ball in. 
So a nice and easy drill for you. Probably not to do with the driver, okay? Start with an iron, get something in there. But if you've got a towel on your bike, hopefully you have, we can get that, place that under both of your armpits, around your chest. And what this is doing is making- Underarms, Chris. Okay, oh, underarms. <laughs> I do apologise. You dragged up. If you <laughs> took offence to that. Right. Have a so, word, Julie. When we take the club away, that often when we see an overswing, we would see loss of connection with the arm. So to get the club to go so far, this arm's going to be flailing out here. We see that we've dropped that towel. We've got no connection with the arms. We're then throwing the club at it. We've got no real control. So what we want to start to see is this is underneath, under our arms. And from there, we can now make a swing. You'll see this will very much limit how far I can go, but James, is that in a better position? Yeah, that looks good, actually. So from there, naturally, momentum will take me a little bit further, and then from there, we can get that club working back down to the golf ball. Again, I won't recommend to do this straight away with a driver practice swings. at full speed. Let's do some practice swings, getting into this position. You'll start to feel like you've got a lot more connection, and then start to do some swings down to the impact. And then even if you just do one nice and slow, so we go up, Keep that connection, and you'll see there for me. It's better than 99% of your drives. The, the <laughs> still towel running is not down the fairway. Out. I've still kept connection, and the launch direction there, because we've now got a stable club face, has launched straight down the fairway. So once we've done this and we've started to build some speed up, we can then take the towel out. But again, when we're trying to learn something, guys, and when we're trying to do something, a lot of repetition, just making a movement and then maybe hit one or two golf balls. Don't put it straight into the golf ball. Don't try and hit 10 shots straight away and say, well, that drill doesn't work. And if you're looking at my glove, yes, I do need a new glove still. I don't. Can we have a, work, have a whip round? I do need to invest in a new glove. So once we've done that a couple of times and we've got a feel, then we can bring it in onto your driver. It starts to feel like I can get that a little bit shorter. And that now again has launched straight down the middle and a much more solid strike. No deviation on that. I've only had to do that a couple of times, but start by doing it, guys, with a wedge, because this can also help you chip in, and from there, build up to hitting longer drives. And we'd like to say a massive thanks, because this is a request from Lex White, one of our members on Sunday Club. So guys, anyone a member of Sunday Club, you can request videos, and we're trying to get them out here on the channel as well. <laughs> to help you get good at golf.